Hello, please. I do apologize for not noticing you there. Let me put away my little Nintendo Switch here. I was just actually enjoying a good session of Dragon Quest XI. Yes, well, it is an absolute joy of a game, but of course, it is unfortunately not releasing just yet. No, that's right, we do have to wait until the 27th, in fact, which is, it's quite a shame, I, I agree. We already have the pre-order for that one uh, locked in, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about uh, in that regard. Yes, quite right. <laughs> I wouldn't even dream of it. <laughs> okay, well, let me pop this little fellow back in its case here. I want to make sure that we are keeping it safe, of course. Yes, it's a beautiful little machine. Definitely want to take extra special care of it, as it has on many occasions taken good care of me when traveling or out and about with social situations, which of course those like us uh, do not tend to do too well in. Well, of course, this little beautiful device allows me to escape from any awkward or uncomfortable situation and drift off into a magical world of fantasy and adventure. Yes, well. As gamers, that is, of course, what we love to do, is it not? Yes, well, okay. Now, that's uh, the nice chit-chat out of the way. I do apologize if I am boring you. I do get quite animated when it comes to new games that I uh, stumble upon and find myself thoroughly enjoying and Dragon Quest was just one of those, uh, how do you say, unexpected delights that I had never played another Dragon Quest game before, but of course uh, a big RPG coming to the Switch I thought uh, I'd have to give it a try and uh, I'm quite upset that the demo uh, is only about 11 hours long. Uh, I am taking every step I can to prolong my time uh, with the game until it releases next week. Yes, yes, it's quite, quite a thing, isn't it, when you finish a game that you've been thoroughly enjoying. It's, yes, a, a sort of sadness that comes along with it. But of course the memories and the wonderful sense of nostalgia of past adventures will always remain with us in our minds, in our hearts, in our memory cards. <laughs> yes, well, enough of that. Why don't we uh, take a look at some uh, new games that we have in since the last time that you visited. I'm sure uh, we can find at least something that you are uh, going to be as excited about as uh, I am for Dragon Quest Eleven. <laughs> Very good. Well, let's start off with the Switch, since that is, of course, what I have been uh, playing most as of late, which is quite unusual for me, in fact. I have previously tended to go for a console game, or, of course, uh, sometimes enjoyed the good uh, PC experience something about the convenience of the Switch has really pulled me in lately and I'm definitely, definitely 
enjoying uh, that aspect of the little device. <laughs> yeah, so I'm sure you will recognize this one. Yes. Crash Team Racing. Of course, perhaps one of the most famous nostalgic characters of them all. Yes, of course, Crash and all of his buddies have made a bit of a comeback into the modern era of gaming with this one. Uh, a childhood favourite for many of us. The iconic kart racing adventure uh, is back in this beautiful and it truly is beautiful a remake of the game from the ground up uh, for the current generation of systems and I've been having quite a blast with this one so I will take the liberty of putting that into your card here and we can weed some out if we need to at the end but I think you should certainly be leading with that particular game yes I know you are a, a big fan okay well, I do have a couple of other switch games here uh, some of them I think you may have already of course uh, we do have uh, Pokemon yes Pokemon let's go Pikachu classic Another nostalgic uh, remake of a classic game there, of course, Pokemon uh, Yellow. <laughs> and of course, we have Octopath Traveler and Dragon Quest Builders. Sort of a cross between Minecraft and uh, the typical Dragon Quest universe, if you like. It's, it's an interesting concept, certainly not for everyone, but worth taking a look at to see if it is... Uh, your sort of thing. Yes, well, we can take a look inside at the uh, the art here, but unfortunately, games these days, they... Yes, you knew exactly what I was going to say. They tend to not bother with any sort of fancy manuals or inserts. It's kind of a, a bygone era at this point. We do have a little tiny leaflet here inside the... A Pokemon cover but unfortunately it's not the charming little instruction manuals that we are uh, reminiscing about more of a advertisement for other Pokemon company goods which is not quite as uh, wonderful as what we used to experience in the uh, the good old days yes listen to me harping on I really should get with the times. It will all be digital download in a few years. It's uh, certainly started to affect sales here, but what can you do? Yeah, it's, uh, yes, I'm sure there will always be a market for, for those collectors like uh, myself and you. But you just have to adapt to the climate, of course. Well, yes, and rightly so. Now, of course, we are coming up to my all-time favourite season of the year, the spooky season. Yes, Halloween just around the corner, so I do have uh, two recommendations, actually, for a bit of spooky fun for you. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Of course, uh, Resident Evil 7. Yes, and Biohazard, this is a personal favourite of mine, it absolutely does a wonderful, wonderful job of capturing the old atmospheric feel of the Resident Evil series. Yes, yes, well this one is actually pre-owned, uh, so you do get uh, a very good price on this of uh, £15 sterling. Yes, yes, it is uh, quite remarkable. And if you are uh, one of those people that is indeed uh, getting with the times, uh, you can even make uh, full use of the... Uh, and I would not recommend doing this alone, I must say. But you can absolutely play the entire game 
uh, without any compromise uh, in the full PlayStation VR mode. Yes, I am inclined to agree. You would have to be uh, either the bravest or most foolish of gamers in the world to attempt such a thing. Uh, yes, some serious jump scares in this one, uh, and just a general uh, creepy atmosphere throughout. So, a real nail biter for sure. <laughs> yes, but that's uh, not it actually. I know you do also have the Xbox One X that you purchased here uh, last time. Well, of course, I could not have you uh, only being able to experience uh, one platform when there are so many uh, great experiences to try out on all of them. Yes, absolutely no reason to be caught up in these silly console wars or PC versus console. No, you can simply enjoy uh, gaming in all of its varieties uh, in the way that suits you best, of course. I quite agree. <laughs> now, to the Xbox, we do have uh, a much older game. There is, in fact, a sequel now, but uh, because of that very fact, you can pick this up for virtually nothing, actually, at this point. Uh, you can probably cover this with your membership points from your last visit, in fact. It's the Evil Within. Very spooky. Uh, it's actually quite a surprisingly good game. It sort of came out of uh, nowhere. Uh, Bethesda uh, publishing Zenimax involved as well. It was yes, it was a bit of a surprise to me, but a thoroughly enjoyable one. <laughs> yes, and in fact, if I open this one up, I'll show you the inside there. Yes, yes, that's quite right. It's very reminiscent of sort of the Evil Dead kind of vibe in here. Yes, some, some inspiration from classic horror, of course. Uh, but yes, it's quite quite a good little game. So I'll, uh, I'll pop that one in the basket for you as well. Uh, and we'll make sure that you have your standard tradition uh, of Halloween time spooky gaming all set up and ready to go. <laughs> yes, it's funny how many of us uh, gamers tend to do that exact thing around Halloween time. We watch some classic horror movies and play some scary games, even if we normally perhaps would not play them. But yes, it's quite, it's quite nice to get into the mood and enjoy the season. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, we do also have uh, a couple of PlayStation 4 games, of course. I know that uh, was at one time your favourite console. Uh, yes, but then now you, you game across all platforms because you have become enlightened. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Oh, some fantastic exclusives on the PlayStation, of course. Uh, but today, there is one exclusive in particular that I want to uh, ask you to have a little look at. And before you say it, yes, I know that the reviews for this particular game were uh, not exactly stellar in all cases, quite polarizing in fact, and I, I do think that is uh, very much a good uh, expectation to go in with. It's, it's definitely the kind of game that you will either uh, really, really enjoy and connect with, or you will simply hate, but uh, I was... Again, quite uh, surprised by how much fun I had with this. Uh, days gone. Yes, it's a quite a nice little fresh take on the classic uh, zombie genre game, which of course there are far, far too many of these days. But uh, this one is is quite good, and it does have uh, quite interesting horde physics. So you can come across these gigantic sprawling armies of freakers, as they're known in this game, of course. Zombies, walkers, whatever you want to call them. 
it's all always the same. Uh, yes, that does make for some quite uh, special, unique moments uh, throughout the game. And certainly some fun trying to kind of pick them off and defeat them. Uh, but yes, really you just play as this uh, character here and you're riding around on your motorbike with a buddy of yours in the post-apocalyptic world with the freakers uh, all over the place. So it's really just about you surviving and trying to reunite with your loved ones. And yes, the story does actually become uh, a bit deeper than you might expect from a sort of motorbiking, tough guy uh, kind of game, and the characters do develop uh, a fair bit. The world is, is absolutely stunning, I think that's one thing, regardless of whether you enjoy the overall game, there is uh, certainly some joy to be had in just simply riding along and taking in the wonderful forests and mountain areas. We'll put that in the maybe pile and you can have a think about it as we carry on. Yes, of course. And now, before you run along and enjoy your new games, there is a another uh, installment in a long-standing franchise that many of us are indeed very nostalgic for. Yes, of course, the latest. Devil May Cry game. Yeah. Devil May Cry. Five, 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 five. Of course, a return of Dante, another exhilarating Devil May Cry is something that uh, many of us look forward to whenever it is. I'm particularly interested to dive back into this and uh, experience the continuation of the story. Yes, of course, we did have the sort of soft reboot with the previous Devil May Cry game that launched, but this is kind of a return to form, if you will, so uh, definitely one that I am looking forward to myself. Yes, I'm surprised you haven't actually got this one already. Go ahead, take a little uh, look there. Yes, the, uh, the synopsis, of course, is... Years have passed since the legions of hell have set foot in this world. But now a new demonic invasion has begun. And humanity's last in the hands of three low demon hunters demon hunters <laughs> yes I do get a bit too into it some of the time but no I'm sure you will have a lot of fun with this one so uh, there's a lot to like in this series of course and they have never really steered us wrong, so I fully expect this to be a uh, memorable experience. Well, into the yes pile for that one. Then. Is there anything else at all that I can uh, help you with? Anything in particular that you are hoping to pick up today while you're here? No, well, that is absolutely uh, fine by me. It is, of course, as always, uh, my pleasure uh, to have been able to assist you this evening. And I am actually quite excited to get back to my little Nintendo Switch here and play some more uh, Dragon Quest XI. Uh, although I truly am quite fearful of what I am going to do with myself when I complete the demo because I am really, really looking forward to just playing this for hours and hours upon end. I might even close the store up a little early this evening. Yes. Well, of course. 
course you totally understand. Yes. You've always uh, understood me perfectly well. So. <laughs> certainly hope that you enjoy the games that you have picked up from Tippy Tap Stick store uh, this evening. Of course, if you have any trouble at all, uh, simply give me a call or pop into the store and I will be more than happy to help you with absolutely anything at all uh, that you require. Yes, we do pride ourselves on good service here. Uh, the community's game store, if you will. Now, uh, don't you worry about checking out, we'll simply uh, charge that to your membership card and I hopefully will see you again soon. Yes, and uh, back to a Dragon Quest 